welcome to another video. So I got to thinking the other day, what differentiates my YouTube channel from all the other question YouTube channels out there? Nothing, there's nothing different. I'm like making the same type of content. So then I thought, so then why would someone want to watch me? They could just go watch these other popular YouTube channels. That brought me to this thought. What could I do different than what they're doing that people might enjoy? So I got to thinking I should make a playlist and a series about teaching people about horses because I feel like there's a lot of assumptions in the horse world. You know, I use all this horse lingo and people are like, what? What does all this mean? So that brought me to this thought. I feel like so many equestrians think that the rest of the world knows all this stuff and I've definitely fallen into that category. So I wanted to make a super basic, super simple playlist and series about teaching you guys about horses. And some of you guys might think I'm stupid for making some of these videos and be like, who doesn't know this stuff? But trust me, I've run into some people that don't know this stuff. And if you're one of those persons, you know what? Like, that's totally fine. That's why I made this series because I understand there's people out there that don't know all the stuff that I know about horses. With all that being said, let's get into the first video. I'm starting off at the very beginning. How to tell the difference between a girl and a boy horse, and also the terms between girls and boys from being a baby all the way to being a grown horse, what are the different things that they are called? So that is what this video is. Let's get into it. All right, y'all. So to be starting at the very beginning, like I stated a couple seconds ago, I am going to be teaching you guys the difference between a girl and a boy horse. So, from the time they are born, when a horse is born, it is not called a baby horse, it is called a foal, which is a generic term covering the whole category of baby horses. That's called a foal. Now, to differentiate from a girl and a boy horse, a girl horse is called a filly and a boy horse is called a colt. Now, you will definitely run into horse people that mix these up. I know a lot of people are like, oh yeah, you've got a pretty colt talking about one of our fillies. And I'm like, I know what you mean, but no, that's a filly. Or you could just call it a foal. Or you could just call it a baby horse. You know, they all work. But colts, no, it's not a boy horse, but whatever. So, you know, if you do mix it up, people probably won't be offended because they'll probably just understand. I mean, they'll at least understand that, oh, this person actually knows something about horses. They just, a lot of people mix those up. So it's not a big deal, just so you know. A girl baby horse is called a filly and a boy baby horse is called a colt. Now, when they grow up, I believe it's about the time they turn three or four, they become a grown horse. And a boy horse is now called a stallion and a girl horse is now called a mare. But here's the tricky part, kind of fun too. Most three and four year old boy horses are not called stallions because they got gelded. And most horses get gelded when they are yearlings or six months old to even two years old. Some people wait that long. Most of the time they get grumpy enough by the time they're about six months old to a year that people gelded them. Now, what is gelding? A gelding is a neutered boy horse. So this is a horse that cannot reproduce. Poco is a gelding. He is not a stallion. He cannot make babies. Now, funny fact, they do not spay mares. They geld boy horses and neuter boy horses, but they do not spay female horses. That's just a very complicated thing in all animals and the horses are so big and complex that that just would never work with a female horse. So next part is to show you the difference of a girl and a boy horse, what they look like actually on the horse. And I'll try to make this not awkward. So I'll go show you. Okay, so since Poco is a gelding, I'm going to show you the obvious difference on him between him and a mare. So the easiest way to tell the difference is by simply lifting their tail. So if I lift his tail, you can see all that there is is his rectum or his poop hole. That's, that's all that's back here. If you look under a mare's tail, you will see that, which is what Poco had up at the top, and then this, which is where she pees from. And that's also where a baby comes out of, which is pretty cool. I actually saw it happen to her, in fact, because she had a baby. But if you look underneath him, that is his, well, oh, I'll just call it a pee hole for now. Okay, so if you look under a mare, there's a little udder. And she actually, I believe, yep, she still has some milk from when she had Dana. So yeah, that's the basic way to tell the difference between a mare and a gelding. And the easiest way, if it is a calm horse, is to simply lift up its tail. If it's not calm, you can simply duck your head and look underneath. If you see an udder, it's a girl. If you see a pee thing, it's a boy. 
Alrighty y'all, well I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something and if you did, please click that like button. It really helps me out. And if you're excited to join me on this journey and learn a ton more about horses, make sure to click that subscribe button. We have some really fun stuff ahead of us. I'm going to be trying to be posting one of these videos. I can't tell you a day, can't tell you a time. I don't know, it'll just be when I make one and post it. So yeah.